When you're hunting, it's important to remember there's something out there that's also hunting you. That's right, a parasitic arachnid is out for your blood. And if bitten, you could end up very sick. This video is about ticks and the very serious health risks they pose for hunters. You'll gain some basic tick knowledge and learn how to protect yourself from tick-borne disease. We're talking ticks with Next Generation Hunting. Generally speaking, there are three main types of ticks that bite humans. Black-legged or deer, dog, and the Lone Star. It is important to mention that males and females often look different. Ticks are a small insect to begin with, but they are the smallest and most difficult to detect at the start of their life cycle, known as the larva stage. They next grow into the nymph stage and eventually reach adulthood. Hunters typically encounter ticks when walking through high grassy or wooded areas, sitting on the ground, especially in leaf piles, sitting on wood piles or stone walls, and when walking under low-hanging branches. These are the places where you'll find a tick's preferred host, mice, deer, rabbits, squirrels, and birds. Ticks are active throughout the year, especially during spring, summer, and fall. They locate their host by using a behavior called questing, the tick crawls to the top of a surface, such as a blade of high grass, then stretches out its top legs, hoping to climb onto a passing animal or person. Once on your clothing, a tick will crawl until it finds bare skin in which it burrows to obtain its blood meal. While there are several disease-causing pathogens transmitted by ticks, we will focus on three of the most dangerous and often discussed, Lyme disease, Powassan disease, whose lineage 2 is commonly referred to as deer tick virus, or DTV, and Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Lyme disease is transmitted by the black-legged or deer tick. Its symptoms include fever, chills, headache, fatigue, muscle and joint pain, and a common skin rash called erythema migrans that often appears as a red bullseye. Powassan disease is also transmitted by the deer tick. This virus is becoming more prevalent in the northeastern part of America. What makes this disease very dangerous is that it often has no symptoms and no cure. Some people exhibit fever, headache, vomiting, and weakness. If left undiagnosed and untreated, this disease can cause inflammation of the brain and spinal cord, seizures, loss of muscle mass, memory problems, and more. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is transmitted by the dog and wood tick. Its symptoms include fever, headache, rash, nausea, stomach pain, vomiting, muscle pain, and loss of appetite. Now that you are more familiar with ticks, their behavior, and the danger they pose, let's look at how to prevent tick bites. Always tuck pants and or a base layer into your socks. Our first and preferred line of defense is to treat hunting clothing and gear with Sawyer's permethrin. Permethrin repels or kills ticks for up to six weeks if applied properly. Always spray clothing and gear outdoors and take steps to avoid getting the product on your skin. Apply with a slow sweeping motion about six to eight inches away and treating each side of the garment for about 30 seconds. In our experience, applying permethrin directly to waterproof garments may weaken their water repellency and cause them to leak. Instead, we suggest that you apply permethrin to the clothing you wear underneath your waterproof layers. Our second recommendation for avoiding a tick bite is to spot treat with an insect repellent containing 100% DEET, such as Repel 100. It should be used to spot treat boots, backpacks, hats, and is approved to apply to your skin. One way to avoid ticks, especially when turkey hunting, is to sit off the ground using a chair such as the Browning Woodland Hunting Chair. It's comfortable, affordable, and keeps your butt dry. To purchase one, look for a product link in the video description or visit the products page of our website. Before getting into your vehicle, be sure to brush off clothing and shake easily removable items such as hats and jackets, 
as well as backpacks. At home, place clothing into the dryer on high heat for 15 minutes to kill any undetected ticks. If you choose to wash clothing, remember that only hot water kills ticks. It is extremely important to check for ticks on your body after hunting, especially in these areas. Under the arms, in and around the ears, inside belly button, back of the knees, in and around the hair, between the legs, and around the waist. If you do find an embedded tick, remove it using either a pair of fine tip tweezers or a device made for tick removal. If using tweezers, grasp the tick as close to the skin's surface as possible and pull it away with a steady, even pressure. For other devices, be sure to follow the product's directions for removal. Avoid using old tricks such as applying petroleum jelly or using a flame to make the tick detach. It is our recommendation to save the tick in a clear, sealed Ziploc bag and take a picture of it with your smartphone. There are different opinions on when to consult your doctor, such as immediately after removing a tick, if it has been attached for longer than 48 hours, or if you experience any symptoms. This has to be your personal choice. Tick-borne disease is no joke. A friend and fellow hunter contracted Lyme disease and experienced a variety of symptoms, including facial palsy. He fortunately recovered with no complications. The diseases we mentioned, and those that we did not, can be very dangerous. It's vitally important to prevent a tick bite so you can stay healthy and enjoy hunting for years to come.